this story on our website, KCBA.com. New tonight, police call it bullying on steroids. We're talking about gang stalking, but it actually has nothing to do with the gangs that you first think of. South Coast News reporter Candace Wynn learned more about the trend and how it's getting more dangerous because of the Internet. It, it, it makes me feel afraid. Lawrence Casino claims his neighbors are gang stalking him because he plays loud music late at night and is outspoken. He said for the last year and a half, he's been systematically followed by a group of people. At one point, he said they climbed on his roof to harass him. Gazzino said he's developed a paranoia that's devastated his relationships with friends and, worst of all, family. <laughs> well, that's, that's, you know, that's the worst part, part of it. If it was me, I would take action. Santa Cruz Police Lieutenant Larry Richard said police are becoming more aware of gang stalking because of cyber bullying. But what is gang stalking? Basically, the victims could be driving their car or talking on their phones or walking the streets when a group of people try to systematically terrorize them. Richard said gang stalking is nothing new, but new technology is making it more common. Gang stalking itself they have elevated themselves to technology. So this is something that's been going on before the age of Facebook, Twitter, those other social websites. Uh, they just now have gone into those areas. Gazzino said he's proof that the problem isn't just online and that it can hit too close to home, a home he plans on leaving because of gang stalking. I want to be able to go to the tennis courts and, and, and uh, play tennis or play, play uh, ping pong without people following us everywhere. It, it's just nerve-wracking. I'm Candace Wen in Salinas, your Central Coast News. If found guilty of gang stalking, a person may face criminal, conspiracy, and stalking charges, all of which are felony charges in California.